Ahoy there! Today I am exhilarated to present my latest do-it-yourself teleprompter. It is made of high-quality picture frames. Its main features are beam splitter glass, stable side supports, two cold shoe mounts at the front to host a mic and a light and its compatibility with all types of cameras including a webcam. It is constructed on a 15 mm rail system and is meant to be mounted on a tripod like that. Although it is homemade, it has features which match contemporary teleprompters in the market. Welcome back. I am Dr. A.K. Venkatachalam, an orthopedic surgeon in Chennai, India. I create PowerPoint presentation and videos on joint replacement, arthroscopy and stem cell treatment. When I speak on any medical topic, I have to cover a lot of technical points. I need a fail-free method to speak fluently before camera. So I always use a teleprompter for recording complex medical content as I have to cover a lot of ground and important points without pausing, fumbling and faltering. So let's dive into the video where I will show you how I built it. To make my do-it-yourself teleprompters, I purchased two photo frames like this, measuring 8 inches by 10 inches since the glass measures this one. Now I am going to connect these two by hinges on the inside. The frames will be here like this. I am going to place the board here for the iPad to be rested and on this section, on this frame, I will be pasting the beam splitter glass. These two frames will be joined here, connected here by two hinges on the inside. The carved table inserts will come here. I will be attaching a plywood sheet over here on the back side. As a for to nail the 15 millimeter railroad system and to attach these two brackets for fixing cold shoe bounds. This is the railroad system which will be coming at the back. You will need a pair of card table hinges like this. This is the correct position, full extension. All of them, good. Okay. While fixing the card table hinges, the, the etching of left is on the inside. This label should be in the bottom so that it will, it will fold back like that. Okay. Okay, if you fold it, I will do it. Fold it, full of fold it. Full of, full of fold it. Right. Super. Rechecking the measurement on the left side. This is an extra piece at the top, which will act as a slight slot to she show a black plate from here to protect the glass underneath. Mm -hmm. The side lights, yeah, correct. Okay. So, this is a teleprompter glass. This is the reflecting side. And this will be mounted in the teleprompter. So this is the base of the teleprompter, it has got a black surface and this is where the glass is going to be. <coughs> Applying fevicol to the inside so that these 
wooden pieces can be stuck to the side, sandwiching the glass between them and the edge of the frame there. The teleprompter is ready. The paste is lid to protect to protect the glass. You can see that it is quite transparent. Making a lid to protect the glass. This is the handle. Super. Now the reflection is quite clear of this phone screen on the teleprompter glass over there. Okay, let me take you on a guided tour of my teleprompter. It sits behind my desk over here. It rests on this fluid head tripod. This is the underside of the teleprompter. You can see the base. This is the fluid head and here just at the top of the fluid head there is a quick coupling plate and to this is attached 15 millimeter rail system here clamped to the under surface of the teleprompter by this block here 15 millimeter rail block i'll show you that from the behind this is a view from the side these wooden frames are connected by two hinges here and here and they are opened and held apart by two card table hinges this is a protective plate to pr protect the back of the teleprompter the teleprompter glass is over here this is the back side of the teleprompter it is slid on to this 15 millimeter rail system. The cameras are mounted here. So I got this Pro Aim Z shaped riser to position the cameras in the center of the teleprompter, which is around here. So phone cameras, all cameras will come to this level and uh, see through the glass and look here where I normally sit. And that's it basically the two additional features are at the front these are metal bars on either side to this I have attached a cold shoe here and a mic this is a road video micro the purpose of this mic is that uh, this TRRS end will feed into a phone because modern phones you need a TRRS end so this this phone is going to record my voice and feed it to this projecting device because this contains a voice activated teleprompter script called as prompt smart pro my voice to the recording camera will be conveyed through a Rode wireless mic which I was using while recording this video and that's it basically so it's very easy to set up after you have completed, after you have nailed the script, you just f press on this hinge over here, it will fold back, remove the prompting device, it will fold back like that and you press the lid down, close it and secure it with this latch. That's it. This Lastly, I made a hood to cut out glare from cardboard and a black camera cloth. These are attached by Velcro to the top over here and bottom of the teleprompter behind. It can record with any camera like a DSLR, Handycam, Webcam, Tablet, iPad and of course a phone camera. Let me go into the cost of it. The beam splitter glass and card table stays were imported. All the other parts were obtained locally and online. 
all the device components are available but special attention is required to fix the rail block to the base of the teleprompter i am very happy with the design of this teleprompter it has a sound and stable design and it can accommodate any type of camera including a tablet it can be assembled easily by sliding it onto the rail block system opening and locking these card table hinges these card table stays deserve special mention as they confer solid stability previously i was using chopsticks cut out hangers to jack open this teleprompter and keep it propped at a 45 degree angle but they were always failing hangers would slide through and i had to and since you have two hangers you have to bend them exactly at the same angle on both the sides the chopsticks would slide inside this frame and that was a total waste of time i have uh, scoured the indian market to obtain this card table hinges i went to all the hardware shops in chennai i couldn't find them finally i had to import them from australia and they arrived so these are the two things of special significance the beam splitter glass and the card table stay they are both imported items so if you happen to watch this video hope you enjoyed it it may even inspire you to build the same or build something even better if you do share your design in the comments like share and subscribe and press the notification icon to keep abreast of new videos when they are posted see you in the next video good premises mm -hmm.